there's a lot of exciting things going on. Right, and we want to get an MBA. There's a lot of hype going on in the society. Get an MBA, get an MBA, and get to the next level. And there's a lot of people still believe that whenever they get an MBA, they can actually get promoted and get a higher salary. I myself listened to it so many times and I applied so many times and I got offers in UK, Australia, but finally decided not to do the MBA. Because still, I truly believe on this fundamental 10 factor. This is why I realized this. So rather than going to the school and getting an MBA, the real underrated MBA is actually the job. Because the job can really help me much better than get an academic degree, which most of the time is not related to me. Why? So let me explain to you in this video so you can really use your job to in the right manner so you can turn it into a, uh, your mini MBA too. And then if you want to get promoted or you want to be an entrepreneur, doesn't matter. So now let's get started. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Number one is about the world class coaches and managers. What does it really mean? That means who can actually apply the things and create a really good result to take the company forward, right? And where are all those managers, those coaches? They are inside the company who are working, not who are reading books, making slides, and coming and present. So working for a company is a great way to get a lot of in touch with the workers manager. And now one thing is even better, if you can work with a startup, then you basically can, can work really closely with a CEO or even a C-suite level very easily by just doing good work because the startup environment allow everybody to work very collaboratively to drive things forward. So that actually fasten the coaching cultures to activate a lot of skill development for anyone. But here, some of the startups have a pretty bad and nasty environment. So just watch out before you join it as well. Just want to make sure that how the founder was their value, check them on the internet, check them in social media platform, read about them, read their content, watch their content, and you know who they are and how they speak to. Number two, investment point. I could not convince myself about just thinking about investment. Let's talk about if I want to go for an MBA in UK or in Australia, it will cost me around 100,000 US dollar just for the tuition fee. Plus, I need to be there for two years. If I leave like a very simple, it will be like $3,000 a month. So two years would cost me almost another 70,000. In roughly, I'm spending $200,000 just to get a degree, right? So now I'm just putting out my cash, hard on cash to them to just to get a paper. But here's the point. My only losing point is not only that. My another very important point Next is about two years, I'm not working. So I'm not earning any money. So all the nest egg I have, I'm burning it out as well too. And now, after two years, I'm getting a certificate from the MBA school, which I cannot sell. The only way I can make money through an MBA is about I need to get a job, right? And probably a higher paying job if it's possible. It's often not often possible too. So now, another thing, oh, I can try to be a better entrepreneur. But I actually can learn by using my number one, the World Plus Coaches, to get all the skills and then probably can become a partner on the company too. Because one of the best way is about being an entrepreneur is about becoming an entrepreneur. Join a startup, become really successful, make a big amount of contribution and turn their job into a partnership role and then become an entrepreneur, which is an entrepreneur. How amazing it will be for me if I could find a startup when I join in and I can become an entrepreneur and become a partner of the founder. And then it's incredible because then I have all the resources available and it could make me faster successful as well too. So now, investment, right? $200,000, I just give it away to get a degree. I'm not getting, cannot sell it. Number two, that $200,000, I can invest even in a stock market or even in real estate. I can get easily 10 to 15% return immediately per year. And I still have the $2,000 too. Doesn't really make sense. That's why I didn't do it. Number three, practical experience. Whenever we go to an MBA thing, we get into academics, we work on the demo projects and so on. So now I will tell you one thing. When I was in second year at my bachelor degree, I was been very excited. I saw a lot of my classmates, a lot to do GRE and they want to do a master immediately after grade down school. I was also thinking I will do that too. Probably I will move to Canada and I will get my MBA degree or maybe master in science degree as well to MSc degree and try to get a scholarship. But after second year, I realized this one, I'm really tired and bored of doing this academic thing. Everything is demo, demo. I need to do real stuff so I can do the real thing, put the stuff in the real world and get people to challenge me 
challenge myself and I can get better and, and I can get people give me feedback, suggestion, coach me so I can get better real faster. And that creates the, that practical experience. So everything I'm doing in a job giving me practical experience and everything I'm doing in MBA, I'm getting academic experience. Number four, immediate earning profit. Well, like I said, when I'm getting an MBA, I'm not earning anything. I'm just spending, spending, spending. I may try to get some part-time jobs which is make my life suck and even can hammer my grade down too because I need to work on those assignments and presentations and essays to actually get a good grade and prove I am really studying well. So the earning potential in MBA is pretty slim and often very thin. But now when I'm in a full-time job, I'm getting full-time salary and I'm getting better, I can get incentivized, I can get promoted, so in two years, I could be even get promoted to the role I'm looking for. Like in, so I didn't get an MBA. I was senior manager at the age of 26, almost. So it didn't matter. I was not super talented. I was not coming out from Harvard University. I just work and learn and apply and improve myself. Get coaches, get mentors, get good managers, and I joined good companies. This is also matter. Number five, that's a student debt. That is a lethal trap. So somebody work in an MBA and take a student debt, let's say they get like around three, three hundred thousand dollars they're in debt. And then after getting out of the school, now they're trying to earn more. Maybe their earning got like 10% more or maybe even 20% more. So let's do a quick calculation. In a, in a situation like that, somebody is earning $100,000 a year. And then normally from $100,000, normally they save around $40,000 a year. And they live on in a $60,000. Pretty fugal, right? So now let's do this one. After MBA, somebody earning $150,000, but now they're, the living standard goes up to 100 k So now they're spend, saving like 50 k So ultimately, they're actually saving extra 10 k with a little more better life. So now, there is a beautiful thing. Take the 10 k out of here, and now you take the 300 k which you have spent just to get an MBA. So now slash 300k by 10k, which is the actual, the real gain, equal to 30 months. 30 months slash 12 is almost 2.5 years of income. So what does it mean? After getting out of the school, almost three years, somebody is under the water and then their heads come up. But now there's a guy who did not get the MBA, who did not get under the water and they keep stacking their wall and, and bricks on top of the water too. So now, that doesn't really make sense. That's why I didn't resign from my job and stick to my job and resign from the MBA. Number six, network, networking opportunity. Yes, when we got an MBA degree, we can meet a lot of people, they are good positions, but we could do the same in, in our jobs too, like in a job, in a big companies. If you're in a startup, we can be very close to the CEOs. And normally the CEO has a lot of network as well too. If you are in a corporate environment, we can still do a lot of, it's like a 50 to 20 or 300, 400 company. Pretty good amount of people there we can easily network as well too. Or we can go to networking activities, buy a bit of coffee and drinks and network. It doesn't really need to spend two years to get a network as well. And we could actually invite all these people for coffee one-on-one -on -one to have a chat as well too. Or join to their organization to learn as well too. Number seven, specific skill development. So whenever we go to an MBA degree, normally we get some kind of cross of everything. We know statistics, we know all those matters as well too. But in a real environment job, we don't need to know all of them. We just need to know an expert about a certain matter. And the goal is to become so deep into it, so actually who can drive results and create results. Let me give you an example. MBA degree will tell me how to be a good leader, but they will also give me a lots of other things. But ultimately, I want to be a better leader if I want to be. So I can be a better leader by taking a one-on-one -on -one coaching or I can get a leadership coaching programs and I can specifically improve my leadership because I personally believe that there is a 1x leader, 2x leader, 5x, 10x, 50x, 100x leadership because this is a skill set I can stack up and develop myself even more later as well too. And one of the best things is the leadership is about I can combine it with other skills like designing skill, sales skill, consulting skill together and it can build a gigantic powerful skill as well too. But when I'm in the MBA degree, I'm kind of in a, in a very much strict frame how what skill I can develop rather than I'm being more focusing about what they're telling me to stack up rather than what I really want to stack up myself, which is specifically custom-made 
for myself. And here's the point, MBA degree is not my customary, it's for everyone, for a group of students. But for me, I, to become successful, I really realized in my life this one, I need my custom made thing for myself, which is gonna bring me from point A to B. Because it doesn't make any sense from go from point A to C to F to Z to X and then come to B. I wanna go from point A to point B. I wanna go straight point A to point B rather than making all this Number longer. eight, carrier clarity. So when working on a job, we really understand what's going on in the industry. When you're in the workforce, we understand what's happening in the company and what is happening in the industry. So we know a very detailed situations going on. As long as we just keep that eye and ear open. Normally I do that. So now it really helped me into what I want to be in my next role. What should be my next role? And what kind of leverage we have? What kind of skills that I already have? And what I need to develop moving forward so I can move to that role faster as well too. That career clarity is a lot more easier for me when I'm in the industry working on my career. Or Number nine, it. entrepreneurship. So one of the great way is about to learn an entrepreneurship is about is this. join a startup and work very closely with the CEO or the founder. So the able to learn it can expose me to learn. I personally, I love wanted to do that one, but I did not have a chance. I couldn't really find a right startup. Why you say this one? Why didn't you do it? Because I was working in a foreign country and I was moving to different places and I was having a pretty much focus on my career too. So I basically blocked myself every possible way to get an exposure to such kind of startup. So I did not, so I started my own. But if I would have a chance, I would never start myself and I would just join with someone it would be much faster for me to make it successful too. So here's the way. If I would be there, I would be just join the startup and I will learn from the founder and other senior leaders. And I will make it so successful at what I'm doing. I will make it so successful by everything I learn and apply in my role. So finally I become so successful in the startup, they would say, hey, you don't need to go out. You stay here in the organization and you are having a chair in the back TV. And that's called a real entrepreneurship. Number 10, certification. We can always get certification without getting an MBA certificate. So without getting an MBA, when we can get an MBA, we can get a mini MBA, which is also available online from EduX, Coursera, and so on, and could be even better. There's a lot of training organization who has a customized training program, even could be three months or six months or even a year. Take on those programs, which is a lot more cost effective, keeping the day job and using the weekend from this program, turn the skill set. And here's the beautiful when part. When I'm in a job and I'm learning outside too, yes, it really let me, doesn't do all kind of fun thing, drinking and a little bit partying thing, doesn't allow, but it actually give me one thing, which is a big lever. And whatever I'm learning from this training program, because I'm rather learning it from a university, I'm learning from this training organization, anything I'm learning, I can immediately apply in my work and see the impact. And if there's no seeing the impact, I can go back and challenge them and say, hey, I cannot apply it. Help me to do this one. Tell me what am I missing here so I can apply. And that's how I can get a certification and also an industry specialized, specific, practical knowledge, which is already tested and become my expertise as well too. So here you go. These are the 10 reasons I did not do the MBA and I basically drop out all the offers. And then this is exactly the same way I use jobs to build my MBA skill set from myself, which really helped me to have my today. And without having this right mindset, I would be never able to become who I am I today. And I probably I would be somebody who has a not watching, not listening, not understanding a person, which is a pretty, pretty difficult and should not be a person to see. If you're watching this video, keep your eye open, listening to it, and turn your job to your own MBA rather than just thinking about I'm gonna throw the money, I'm gonna get the degree, and you're gonna make me successful. It does not work that way too. So you're probably thinking that time management is your big challenge right now, right? So check out this video right now. That video I shared, how do I make my time so you can make more time and get more things done too. Click the video right now, I'll see you there. All the best. We have some exciting plan for the next week. So don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss it out.